Hello fellow Midjourney people, the day is finally here. We have the first video model from Midjourney and it looks pretty good. So let's take a look. This announcement came less than 24 hours after I had released my previous video where I anticipated this would be happening very soon. But I actually didn't think it would be this soon. The announcement message is slightly different from what we have normally seen. But it's perhaps because usually it is kind of a patch note format that tells what's new and what you can do. So let's condense it down. Key points are that we only have image to video and not text to video yet. It means you need to generate an image first or upload it, and then you can animate it. You can't directly prompt for the video. There is two modes to choose from, automatic and manual. Automatic chooses the motion and just makes the image move, you can't direct it in any way. And then there is manual option, which lets you describe how you want things to move and what should happen in the scene. There is also two options for the amount of movement you want to see. Low motion will move more slowly and deliberately, or possibly, not at all. And high motion does exactly that. More movement, but apparently can lead to some wonky mistakes. So four options that you will see only in the web portal. No Discord possibility for this. You can access the animation menu if you click open any image you have generated. There is a new section now called Animate Image where you will see all four options for animating your image. You will get four videos as a result, and currently, it costs about eight times more to generate a video compared to just an image. So not actually too bad. Each video is five seconds each, and you can extend it up to four times, making the videos to 20 second clips. It's aligned with basically all the other video generation models out there. But the only limitation now seems to be, that you can only get 480p quality videos and there is no upscaler yet. You would have to use some external ones for now to enlarge your videos like Cupscale or Topaz, if you can afford it. And to my delight, there is the relax option that is currently available for pro subscribers or higher. So essentially, $60 and up per month will allow you to generate an unlimited amount of videos. Well, it's going to be slower, with the relaxed mode on, but at least you don't have to go and spend fortunes on more and more fast hours if you run out. So far my experiences with this have been quite positive. The video model takes the image and actually animates it, and doesn't do too many weird things with it. Although there are some limitations of course. I took the video model for a quick test drive. I animated some alien fashion models on a runway. With different SREF codes, and with high automatic motion. So you can animate essentially anything, even sketch figures. And it sticks to the style, and the look, and doesn't invent something new. Then I took this lady. I had a typo in the prompt, but the image turned out pretty well. I wanted a person who was standing. I tried it out with both low and high automatic motion. The low motion seems to be the default one, so that's what will be used if you were to upload your own image that was not generated by Midjourney. For this one, I got quite a lot of motion, with both options, actually. I also tried out both motion modes with the manual movement setting. I removed the rest of the prompt and just added the action sitting down. Both motion types handled it pretty well. The movement is sometimes exaggerated, but it does feel natural. The lip syncing part is kind of weird. That happened a lot with this image for some reason as if it was a music video or something. Or a lip syncing TikTok. I tried out some other movement as well, with the high motion option. I tried dancing. Again, pretty good, still with the weird lip syncing though. Also crying, but that didn't really follow the request. I guess you would already have a crying character in the starting image perhaps. Then I tried jumping but that one did not produce safe content. On hindsight, I might understand why, so I switched it to jumping with joy. That worked way better. I also thought I'd try one prompt that worked really well with Sora. The cats or animals doing human things like kneading dough or playing guitar, but it doesn't seem I could generate a good enough starting image for it. Closest I got was these. By the way, 
downloading the videos is not actually as straightforward as one would believe. Using the regular download button currently gives you a really tiny video. There was a quick update some time later that added the social media download option. That gives you a larger resolution, but also confuses a little bit. I couldn't tell you how many times I have pressed the wrong button. Of course, I would like to download the bigger option. And also, the organization page, mass page only has the regular download option currently available. So you need to save all your videos one by one at the moment. Well, overall, I'm liking what I have seen. If you can create an image with Midjourney, then you can animate it. And it seems to turn out pretty well. Unless you try to animate a video of yourself with a bunch of other people. Midjourney is still not doing multiple realistic faces well. The familiar faces can get pretty weird and unrecognizable. But a single person it handles well. I guess there's nothing else left to do now than to play around with it more and try to figure out what we can do with it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this new feature in Midjourney. Are you going to be using it beyond just trying it out? Do you have any specific plans you want to achieve with it? I thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe if you want to. And as always, let's continue prompting.